Hey guys, uh, this is Arjun here and I'm quickly going to walk through the code which I've created and also as you can see uh, uh, I was done with the development of shopping cart uh, two days back that is uh, on Saturday and uh, Sunday and Monday I gave for learning, testing, uh, like creating test cases. Uh, I know in uh, usual cases uh, you write the test first and then you write the code but in my case it's reverse. Uh, to quickly launch the code, uh, first of all, of course, you have to run Webpack, which compiles uh, the code into the public folder. Uh, make sure you have done npm install. Uh, if you don't want to do npm install or if you don't want to install anything, just simply uh, cd to this public folder and run hdp-server, uh, uh, which is a node uh, plugin module. Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to uh, show you the actual uh, way of launching the server. Um, I'm also going to walk through the code quickly. Uh, webpack watches the files, compiles the code, and uh, run a simple uh, node server, which hosts our code at port 3000. And uh, you can see it over here. I'll just refresh. So over here, uh, there is one thing uh, I would wanted to tell you: uh, the products reducer file which I've created over here is simply dummy. Uh, it, it's actually it's not dummy. It has a really good case, uh, like good code. But uh, I had decided that I will uh, create a products add form, delete form for the admins, but which I didn't do. Uh, but this one simply serves the purpose of loading the products. And you can see if I delete, uh, let's say, ginger222 and just go here and refresh. So it updates over here. And uh, that's it. Card actions test. Uh, so all my test cases are into test folder. Uh, I know I could have written it uh, inside over here itself, but I just wanted to keep uh, the folder structure clean and simple as possible. Uh, if you want to run the test cases, simply uh, run npm run test and you can see the test cases so card actions and product list uh, these are the main things so card action uh, is actually dealing with the reducer uh, related to the card and products list is actually kind of an interactive uh, test and the card actions is actually a unit test uh, so if you go to product list uh, you can see it's dealing with all things related to the DOM, uh, whereas uh, mostly to the DOM. Whereas uh, if you go to the cards action reducer, uh, it is actually uh, making different different uh, dispatching different different events, and we are updating uh, and like reading the store over here. The reason for adding all the actions into this actions pipeline is just to show you the sequence so the array goes by a sequence and it's easier to read so I'm doing a for each over here and uh, I know my tests are not that great uh, <laughs> which I just learned in two days and hope you enjoy what I've done uh, please let me know any feedback uh, I would be uh, like I'll be happy more than happy to edit and upgrade and refactor my code let me know and uh, thank you I'll just show you a demo. The price of gets updated over here. You can delete everything. Alright, thank you.